boogie, it might slip, but in MMA, because of the glove, you're gonna get stuck at one moment. Here, and now when I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna extend my leg. All right, we're gonna go for Seo Toshi, okay? Again, in a gi, it's a really great throw. In no gi, it's also a little bit dangerous, but in MMA especially, that you have your gloves, can really work really well, okay? So here, for example, we're here and I have the color tie and I'm here and you're striking or whatever. In nogi, it might slip, but in MMA, because of the glove, you're gonna get stuck at one moment. And that's good because that's what you want. You want the arm here, okay? So here, okay, here, you get the arm with the glove. What you're gonna do, you're gonna open and you're gonna go with your other arm. Imagine your elbow is elbow, okay? So here, at the same time, you're gonna step and give, show your back to his, to his, get his, your back to his chest, here, here. And now, this leg gonna go here, okay? I'm gonna show you forward, huh? Okay, so here, you're gonna open, at the same time you put, open your step. Boom, elbow, bring your foot, and here, boom. Here we are. Okay, so, get back, yes, here, okay? So, with the glove, it's a great thing because it, it stops doing this, right? If you, if you lock these two fingers, you're gonna be able to stay controlling the wrist, all right? So I'm gonna open and step, boom. Bring my hand here, now bring my leg, and what I want is this, here. I wanna bend my leg. I don't want my leg to be like this, okay? Because if that happened and he knee on my knee, I might hurt my knee, okay? So my knee has to face the mat, and my heel has to face the ceiling, all right? My leg is bent here, and now when I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna extend my leg, and here I am for the takedown. So here, I'm going here, I'm gonna open and step, pop, bring, step again, here I am. Punch, get a good position to be able to finish the fight.